I know what it is. Miko Adventure Puffball. That one comes from Coriander Games. They're, it's a one-man team from Egypt. And it's a puzzle, not puzzle, but rather a platformer. Uh, it's actually quite difficult. It looks really cute and charming and all this stuff, but once you get playing, it's actually really difficult. Uh, I wasn't able to get an interview with the devs from uh, Coriander Games, but I still did a Let's Play, and we'll be taking a look, a look at that next. Hello to all my favorite people. We got another Let's Play. This time it's just me again. Uh, we're doing Miko Adventures Puffball. Absolutely. So I played it before a little bit, but I will go back to stage one. Lollipop trail. Do not let the cute look fool you. Welcome to the unforgiving world of Puffball. Take your time to fail, learn, and earn your reward. Get ready for a real challenge. Ooh, Miko. Curiosity is... The engine of achievement. Ken Robinson. Gotta love Ken. I don't know who he is, but I'm sure some of you do. Miko, what are you doing? Miko, you should know, you never go to random portals. <laughs> yeah, just try, try with the tail and see what happens. So I can't tell if Miko is a raccoon or a uh, tanuki. Or raccoon dog. The traveler had no choice, had no option to turn back. But he knew he was on the right path. All right. So let's go. Uh, Miko Adventures Puffball was uh, nominated for one of our fan favorite games of the year. I was ready to jump on the, the head of the bunny. We got double jumps. Got some nice little gems. I like that they're they're 3D. It's just uh, it sticks out even more. Grabbing your eye and you're like, oh, I want to go grab those. Plus, with that satisfying sound effect, the pickup sound effect. Hmm. Uh, do we go? Yeah, let's go left. Oh, okay. So top left, there's how many coins in the level, how many enemies, and how many secrets. But I dare say, that's a, that's a perfect level. Oh, that pause music is a, is a bop. Okay. Level two, Minty Madness. Imagine if I just jumped. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, these guys have double jump as well. Ooh, tricky. Are there any more coming for me? Yeah, I, I really enjoy how the, the game offers... Um, if you want to just, like, golden path to the end, you could, but... Those little moments where you have to like sort of jump down and get yourself back up. That's always fun. Do I go into this portal? What does this portal do? There was one in the other level, but... Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the game offers um, a lot of flexibility for people who want more of a challenge or if you just want to just wanna see the end. Spikes are nasty. 
cute little touch too, the, the camera here. Oh, it zooms in. Hmm. Oh, I thought I would grab. It it is quite a quite a simple game, but I think what shines is just how um, how everything just works really well. Like the gameplay is ex extremely fluid. I can't grab onto these. Oh, I can. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Got a little secret. Oh my god. <sighs> Close call. Alright. Ooh, got a blue key up here. Is that for the... <laughs> well, that answered my question. All right, can I just... Ah! I've been up here, have I? I know. Hmm. Hey, there's a uh, extra health up there. Right. I don't have an orange key, though. Is that in the... Oh, no. Oh, okay, I can... So I'm gonna just have to go to this. Right? Hmm. Oh, Miko, you've got me puzzled. Where do I go from here? Uh, I've been down here, right? It looks like there would be something over there, but... But no. Oh, let's see. So there's that blue... Blue lock. So we can progress that way, at least. I gotta do, I gotta do a little more exploration. Trying to get, trying to get 100%, you know? I mentioned old Nintendo games, like Super Nintendo games, stuff like that, and the uh, how this game has the find all the secrets to feed all the enemies. Like that's also a very uh, modern Nintendo approach at sort of their completionist stuff, which I'm, I'm a fan of. I like to do as much as possible in my games. So it's like, oh, if you offer me this challenge of. Uh, Find everything, do everything. I'll, I'll bite. I'll do it. I like how the uh, the levels they sort of intertwine with each other as well. Like we had to go to that portal to get the the blue key. Oops. Okay, so we've defeated all the enemies. Yep. So there's still two more secrets. Hmm. And I have a feeling that the um, orange lock will just lead us to the end, but let's do it. Boing. And I'm still missing some... Yeah, so that's, that's cool how they're... Um, I still miss some secrets even though I did a pretty thorough the research, so that's fun. I like to go back and I won't do that now, but on my own time, Choco Impact. We got some some nasty blue spiky guys. Oh, no thanks. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, I see. Let's take two hits.
Yep. Oh! <laughs> Alright. The, the art is really cute too. I, I, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the, uh, the whole theme is just really charming. Oh, I'm out of fire. Oh, I didn't realize it was a gauge. Fire gauge. Yeah, so obviously there's a secret up here if these guys are taking advantage of this wall. Let me up here. Alright, so I should be able to... Ooh, haha. Uh -huh. No way. Okay. Now I'm like looking everywhere, like, oh, would there be... Could there be a secret here? Is there a secret? Now that I know that they're not as, uh, as apparent as you might think. I think the, the game does a pretty good job with, um, with the camera. It's really fluid and it follows you well. But there are a few instances like that where it's just a little slow to pan down and you just don't know what's what's beneath you. Where? No, it was... Is it this way? Yeah. I don't remember seeing that. Let's go find out. Yeah, so there's this blue one. We need to find this... I'm gonna guess this towards the beginning. So I felt like I've spent a lot of time towards this... this end of things. Or is it a joint level? I, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's find it. Okay, so we got enemies, we got some gems, so I haven't been there, that's good. It's funny how those those gems and enemies can also be used as a as a marker of have I been here or have I not? Thousand gems. It's nice. I don't want to go there yet. Should I? Why not? Take care of these guys. Can I land here? Is that... Oh, that's cool. Got a bad guy with a secret here. No, we, we found all the secrets. Oh, that just seemed like... Prime for a secret. Okay. All enemies, all secrets, and all... Oh, come on. <laughs> I have one last gem. At least we know where it is. Okay. Where was the... Come on. So, we know how to just go right. We can finish the, the level like that. Oh, no. Yep.
We have time for what? What? One more level? I, th I think so, yeah. I think the time doesn't really affect the score. Zero. Zero degrees sugar. I mean, if you're if you're pushing me towards the, uh, the portal, I'll go. Oh my god. That's fair. Oh no. Ah! Oh no. This is a good, good tutorial uh, level with the icicle and then these, these new enemies. Not level, but segment. Oh my god. Womp womp. Hey, they did try to warn us as we started the game like, hey, you know, this game might look cute. But <laughs> don't be fooled. Oh my god, this th it slips so much. Right, so I can't really progress here, I just realized. So we will go to the portal. So I'm trying to find now, like, can you clearly see which icicles will fall or not? Because there are two now at the top of the screen, and only one falls, and they look identical. Hmm. And then the ice. There are patches. Well, right now I'm sending a patch of ice. But next to it is just the snow, so that doesn't affect my my maneuverability. Alright. Yeah, the icicles are just tricky because there's no there's no real indication, at least not that I've gathered yet, of um, which ones will fall and which ones won't. So that's a bit tricky. Ah! Oh no. There we go. Okay, so there's no ice here. I'm okay to get him. Right, so now there's these two icicles on my right, and I'm just thinking, can I trust them? Oh my god, I, I just saw there's like four icicles uh, above me. Okay. I'm just so worried about the ice. Nice. Oh, I can I can touch these. Okay. Yeah, it's um. Oh, it's a bit uh, confusing the inconsistency of the icicles. I guess I'm slow down. That's weird. We good now? No. Oh no. <laughs> I think my computer is slowing down for some reason. We're good now, right? No, there's still a little delay. Ah, I don't know. Uh, let me check something. Check my settings. Close some stuff down. Yeah, we're good. So I have the yellow key. Oops. Well, hey, you know what? I think that, that kind of leaves it at a perfect time to end 
and the let's play me dying uh yeah miko adventures of puffball one of our finalists for the fan favorite category so thanks so much for watching until next time